So after the impeachment vote, I wanted to find out what true Trump supporters thought about this limited and very narrow specific impeachment vote. Julio Rivera dropped by the program to talk with us about it. Check it out, share, share your comments, share it with your friends, and uh, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Welcome back. On the line with us is Julio Rivera, the editorial director of Reactionary Times, columnist with Newsmax, the American thinker and townhall.com, reactionarytimes.com. You can tweet him at, oh yeah, it's Julio. Hey, Julio, welcome back to the program. Thank you so much for having me, Tom. My pleasure. So your guy, Donald Trump, uh, just got two articles of impeachment laid down on him, one for uh, basically trying to get Ukraine to, to trash Joe Biden, the guy that Trump figured he's going to run against, and, and good chance he will. And the second, that Trump refused to allow anybody from the executive branch to participate in the impeachment hearings and refused to provide the documents that Richard Nixon provided, that Bill Clinton provided, uh, that Andrew Johnson provided, uh, you know, obstruction of Congress, obstruction of justice. Um, what are your thoughts on this, Julio? Well, I mean, my thoughts have not changed from, you know, what they've always been. This has been ridiculous the entire time. The fact of the matter is, Tom, and I, let me ask you a couple of questions first off, right? Would you agree that Donald Trump is really the top diplomatic negotiator for the United States, you know, even above Mike Pompeo, the Secretary of State? Would you agree that, uh, to that? Um, yeah. I mean, not that he is. Okay. So he, let me ask you a sure. question, right? So we subsidize the Ukrainian government, right? The U Ukrainian government subsidizes Burisma Holdings. Burisma Holdings is a company that, quite frankly, if they were paying Hunter Biden upwards of $600,000 a year when he has no experience, knows nothing about the energy industry, there's, that's, to me, textbook fraud. So the president had every right to request an investigation, you know, basically to find out what's actually going on at Burisma. Should the United States be giving, continuing to give aid to Ukraine? Now, I'm going to give make another side point here. Oh, wait, wait, wait a the second. The anti-tank missiles, wait a minute, wait a minute, let me just get this out right, and you can right, say it. Right. The anti-tank missiles which are important to the Ukraine to keep, you know, Soviet advancement and to keep them from, you know, annexing any other, any, any more of their land were never withheld. And none of the actual money was ever withheld as a result of whether or not these investigations actually occurred. Then you're making the assumption that. Okay, let's stop right there, of the election. Julio, because you just laid down Very two, good. two statements that are simply not factual. First of all, Burisma no, is, a, is a private right. corporation owned by a, a Ukraine, largely majority owned by an Ukrainian. But they Ukrainian are subsidized oligarch. in part by the Ukrainian government. They are subsidized in part. Not in a way that has Ukrainian anything to government. do with U.S. military aid to Ukraine. So there's no relationship between our giving Ukraine missiles but that can be used against Russian was tanks. Withheld, though. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no, there's no relationship there. So, so a, you're trying to change the subject to something that's completely irrelevant. No, I'm and, not. And b. And, and what was your second argument? Okay, well, actually, let me just expand on, on something else that I, that I wanted to, to, to lay out because it, it's actually very, very, very uh, important, uh, you know, within this entire matter. Um, you know, as far as the, the assumption, the, the articles of impeachment are based on the assumption that Donald Trump was attempting oh, to enlist the aid no, of a foreign government. Say, your, your second point was that, so, the, so, was that the aid was not withheld. Election, the aid was withheld. In an election. The aid was withheld from. No, they, they don't. It was, it the was money, withheld the for money, several the months. The payments were made. And the anti tank missiles were given. Listen, this has been a witch hunt since day one against Donald Trump. Look at the Trump Inspector released the aid the day after. No, wait a second. Trump released the aid the day after CNN started reporting that the whistleblower had said that he was withholding the aid in an attempt to extort them. You know that, Julio. That's not a secret. Nobody's mm -hmm. even disputing that. Listen, the, the, the important portion of the military aid were the anti-tank missiles, and those were delivered as they were supposed to be, and there was never any interruption in that. That's literally what dissuades, you know, anybody from advancing into Ukraine is the anti-tank missiles, right? So that's an important point there. The other part of it is, did you not see, why, does, why do Democrats not care about the fact that Joe Biden publicly said, you've seen the C-SPAN uh, uh, video, everybody's seen the C-SPAN video, that he was, he was I'm, I'm going to get on the plane in six hours, and if you want this $1 billion, this investigation better end. How come Democrats 
don't care about abuses of power within their own party. Because Democrats know that that investigation that Joe Biden, and it wasn't an investigation, it was firing the prosecutor, that that, that had absolutely... Yeah, to prevent the investigation. Let me, let me finish my sentence. That that had absolutely <laughs> nothing to do with Burisma or Hunter Biden. Absolutely nothing to do with it. Zero. The, the State Department That's even looked lie. into That's this during true. the Obama administration. No, if you, if, honest to God, Julio, I mean, look this up. If you think that, that Joe Biden that. and the International Monetary Fund and the European Union and the U.S. State Department and the U.S. Congress voted by Republicans and Democrats together took the position that, the, that that corrupt uh, prosecutor in Ukraine had to go before Ukraine could be certified as, as being a country that was worthy of U.S. aid. If, you, if you're taking that position that that had anything to do with, with Burisma or with Hunter Biden, you are simply operating based on something that somebody lied to you about. No, that's not true. And the other thing it is, is it what are the Democrats is. doing here? Listen, you guys, the, the, the Democratic House has spent the better part of this entire year. In the beginning of the year, it was all the, the investigation, the, I'm sorry, all the hearings with Comey and related to the Mueller report. The last couple of months, it's been this impeachment thing. Are you guys not interested in legislating and improving the lives of the constituents? These legislators are hell-bent on one thing and one thing alone, and that's getting Donald Trump out of power because Democrats are obsessed with power. You guys don't even really care about the issues that you campaign on. You know, I and if, they, if it was never, this is the most obvious example of it is what happened last year in Virginia when you had Northam, right? Northam, the blackface scandal, you guys care about social that's justice. A, that's a state government. We're talking, races. we're talking federal guys, government here. No, but let me, but, but it's, but it's systematic of the Democrat party because the fact of the matter is it's the Democratic the, the, the party. attorney general, Julio. the attorney general, it's okay, the Democratic, Democratic party. party, the attorney general and the lieutenant governor of that state were embroiled in scandals and you guys didn't want to turn over the power to the Republican leader of the Virginia legislature. This is only about retaining you power. Know, it's not about you, can, you, can, you can go America. off on the Virginia Democrats all you want. You know, and, and, and frankly, you'll find some Democrats who will agree with you, but that has nothing to do with this. I, I'm, I'm assuming it's that you really... Of your let, me, let me just it's finish my damn power. sentence, would you? Julio, hold on. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming your, your argument here is that, is that Congress has had basically suspended all functions in order to, to, to direct their attention to impeachment. Not and all I have, the many. I, yeah. I'm assuming that you are then unaware of the fact that over 300 pieces of legislation, including comprehensive uh, legislation to protect our elections, uh, re-ratification re, uh, or whatever the word is for the Violence Against Women's Act, um, gun control legislation, tax legislation, uh, pharmaceutical There's pricing been some legislation, has been over, two, things over, like that, over 270 substantive pieces of legislation, and and you know have what are the Democrats and, and, and do an additional 30 or 40 that are basically you know uh, naming post offices have passed out of the House of Representatives, and Mitch McConnell is refusing to allow even a discussion on them. And the ultimate one, of course, is NAFTA. Now, the Democrats in the House of Representatives working with Donald Trump and Robert Lighthizer, who's been a guest on this program many times, worked out a replacement for that god-awful NAFTA bill that gets rid of Chapter 11 or Article 11 with the, with the, the, the kangaroo courts. That, that, that mandates that labor has to be, 40% uh, of the labor in a car has to be done at $16 an hour, that, that increases the standards for environmental quality controls, that is, is supported now by Richard Trumka and Donald Trump. That was also announced this morning. So your argument is just nonsense. You still there? What happened to Julio? Oh, he lost his phone? Oh, well. Julio, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't hear you. Uh, oh, you're going to try? Yeah, his phone dropped. You're going to try Skype? We're going we're gonna to try Skype audio here and see if that works. It looks like Julio is trying to dial me back, though. Yeah, see, he's, he's in, uh, yeah, there he is. He's, di he's dialing us back. And, and, uh, and I will grab that call. Julio! Yes. Hey, you're back. Thank you very much. So anyhow, I just blew up your argument. I don't know if you heard the whole thing, but, you know, I mean, they, they announced NAFTA this morning. So, you know, how can you continue to say that? No, there, there are. Listen, but, but still, 
You've got these first-time legislators. They made all these promises to their constituents. They're not delivering on everything that they their, – their concern is not to legislate at where they should be. There's a bunch of green legislation that has passed the House. There's been reauthorizations of bills. There's been, there's been money that's been appropriated that was already, you know, allocated for certain things. There's some, some business as usual is moving along, but the obsession here is to try to retain or to try to regain power. That's literally, listen, 266,000 so jobs. Yeah, Julio, we have, we have a minute and 10 seconds. President before, not doing hang on, a good job? Hang on, hang on just so a second. We have a minute and 10 we're seconds before we're going to hit a hard break that I can't control. Quick question for you. Okay. Do you think, as yeah. many Democrats fear, that if Trump is impeached in the House and not convicted in the Senate, that that will help him get reelected? Donald Trump is going to win regardless because you guys don't have any candidates. Well, he can't win if he gets kicked the out. American people, Joe Biden. Just listen, I don't care what the polls say. The polls said, you know, the day before Election Day 2016, that Hillary Clinton had a probability of winning the election of probably like 99 percent, and she lost. So, I mean, well, she won by three million nothing. votes. Donald Trump is wildly popular. You know, he's not getting ignored at diners in, in Iowa. You know, I mean, this is a guy that packs the house, you know, from from, you know, city to city all over this country and all the oh, battleground yeah. states. He's packing the arena. I get you know, it. people want to vote for Donald Trump. They want the economy to stay strong. This is ridiculous. This is literally about. So you think that Donald Trump so, so, from so I guess my question, FBI, my question, though, was the FBI. Oh, and hang, on, hang on. Just, I got it. I got it. But my question was, do you think that this is going to help or hurt Trump? It's uh, Donald Trump wins regardless. It probably helps him. Maybe, maybe it helps you, him. You I think don't know. It, helps it doesn't him. help the American people. See, I think I'll it's I think it's going to hurt him, but I think it's going to solve the division in the country. Yeah, well, the division in the country is is being you know heavily aggressively promoted. I think by Donald Trump. I mean, you know, we've never had a no, president call the press the enemy of the people. We've never had a president, you know, call, uh, you know, re you refuse to is. cooperate with Congress. So, For a few, listen, the, his, his, the people on his staff could have went and they could have testified. And there was one person that did testify. The rest of them could have showed up and pled the fifth. It doesn't matter. Donald Trump didn't force anybody to do anything. Uh, no, actually, they, they did. They, they uh, the office of the president's, the president's. Office of Legal Counsel wrote letters to all these guys saying you can't testify. The ones who did defied him. but.